Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a budget update and checking in on our spending over the weekend. I actually haven't tracked any of our spending since a new paycheck budget started on Friday. As you guys can see here, we are in my September income and spending tracker. I've not put anything in here, so I'm going to be inputting a couple of the transactions in there. But really quickly, let's take a look at my September budget because I knew we want to take a look at what we're starting out with because I need to put that into the tracker as well. So. This is the amount that we're starting with here, my husband's paycheck. I already covered that in the last video that I did. Um, we also, what I didn't mention in the previous video is that we did get um, gifts. Some of this was from before that we just had cash that we just stuck into uh, one of our piggy banks. So we have $200 that need to be deposited still into our bank account. Not that many bills this time around. Uh, we did rent finally cleared. And I also want to show you guys how I update or how I check in with our variable day-to-day -day expenses to make sure that we don't go over. So I'm going to be plugging in all the numbers here and what I do to make sure that whatever number goes on here or whatever spending goes on here will get auto populated here in the actual column just so I don't have to double uh, track later so as I update the numbers here it'll automatically get inputted into this box right here so I'll show you that in a little bit so for now I'm going to go ahead and get started with tracking our spending so starting with our checking account starting balance I believe it was 20 43 and 86 cents what was it? Yeah, 86 cents. Okay, <laughs> cool. 20, 43, 86, and we still have the $5 still in cash. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that amount over here and 86, and then starting amount, oops, that's gonna go here. So let me just go ahead and start adding these. Some items have posted already, but we do we did do some spending over the weekend that has not cleared. So I will go ahead and just put it on here. The ones that have posted, I usually will put a date here on the date cleared column and whatever is still pending, I will put it here in the, the day that we spent it. So let me go ahead and just start tracking our spending. Okay, so now that I have everything color coded, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy the budget uh, for this pay period um, in our variable day to day expenses over here. So I'm just gonna copy this right here, copy that, and then paste it on. And then, so 850. Okay, so. So what I'm gonna do really quick is check in, like I said, with our spending to make sure we don't go over. I'm pretty sure we haven't gone over yet. Hopefully we haven't, it's just the beginning of the pay period. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just input all the formulas on here. So I'll do equals, minus, and then in parentheses, I'll put all of the expenses. Again, what makes it easy is the color coding so I can see it already, like which ones are food expenses. 
and then I'll just add all of the food spending here. I did go back to 250. I originally budgeted 300 when I was doing this, but I decided to just go back to 250 because I think we can make it work. We have a lot of freezer items still and a lot of previous meals that I made that are still in Ziplocs and stuff. So we're gonna try to get through that. Haven't gotten gas yet. I'm pretty sure we will. Um, so I'm just gonna put zero there for now. Households. Oh, I thought I had budgeted more for household, I guess not. I thought I put 100 for some reason. I think that was last month. So, so far, not going to get anything else for household. <laughs> Hopefully, that's pretty much it. Um, and then kids, I decided to increase their budget um, to pay for their costumes already because I don't want it to get sold out or anything. One of my kids is so... Oh, totally did that wrong. My oldest is into Zelda, so we got him a Link costume, the sword... And then I think we're going to get the shield next time because we are tapped out. So hopefully the sword doesn't, or the shield doesn't get sold out or anything. Um, so 2111 still for them. I don't know if they're going to need anything else for school or not. Uh, my husband hasn't spent anything because he's been on a mini vacation since last Thursday. He does go back this Wednesday. Um, so I'm going to put zero. By the way, it is Monday for us here, or for me, that I'm updating this. So I don't think I'm going to be uploading it till Wednesday, though. But it is Monday. And then for myself, I did buy the Passion Planner Digital because I did buy myself uh, a tablet. So I'll get more into that later because I'm going to be filming some videos on there as well with um, budgeting and all that stuff. So I'll get more into that later. So fun and events, um, so far my husband bought an extension pack for the Zelda game and they, him and my son have been hooked on it lately. Uh, healthcare, I do need to pick up my medicine, Rite Aid called me and told me I need to pick up my stuff. So I think that's it. So we're still way under as it should be because it's only been three days, three days. Four days. This is today's the fourth day of our spending. So I like to do this because since I do mostly use our debit card when we pay for things, just seeing this, this is also on my phone as well since it's on Google Sheets. I have the Google Sheets app on my phone. So I'm able to see this when I'm out and about. Um, I didn't do a great job at it last month, clearly, because we went over. So as of right now, we've spent 183 already on food. Um, so we have $66 left over and usually we do one more um, mid budget or our weekly grocery haul but it's like the smaller one it's not a lot of like the meats or anything it's just replacing anything that's spoiled or not spoiled but um, just getting more fruits and veggies and stuff like things that um, don't really last too long in our fridge so making sure we have enough money for that and if we want to get takeout or whatnot just depending what we need to put back in our fridge or freezer or pantry so we have 66 dollars left we have about still close to like a week and a half left to go in our budget um, so I think everything else is fine. I'm still hopping back and forth on whether or not I want to buy the budget by paycheck workbook itself or digital. So I'm going to see um, see what happens. Uh, so anyways, let me stop babbling. Let me show you guys how I add this info onto the spreadsheet. It's pretty easy. It's just copying and pasting pretty much. So I'm just going to copy this because it'll copy everything, including the formulas. And then I'm just going to paste that on here. Why did that not work? So I'm going to do equals this. Let's see if it'll autofill. Yep. Okay. That's the way to do it, I guess. So my bad. Uh, so um, what you do is pretty much hit equals over here and then go to your tracker sheet and hit this first one. Let me just do it again. So let me do this. Let me do this one more time just so you guys can see see what I did in case that's something you want to do. Just make sure it aligns with whatever category you need it to be for. So yeah. And then when I usually hit this box, it'll suggest an autofill and it usually works out just fine. So just make sure all of the numbers align just fine. If you're a little paranoid like I was at first, you can just totally hit equals and then go back to that sheet and then um, hit enter and stuff. But these numbers look fine to me. So 351.64 is what we spent so far 
And yes, yeah, so that pretty much lines up here. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys to see, especially if you're a debit card user, it's kind of nice to have some kind of way to check in with your budget. Even if you don't use a digital spreadsheet or anything, you can totally do this on paper. I used to do it before um, and just check in with my budget, just use a calculator or add it all up and all of that stuff. Make sure you check in weekly or whenever you do the most spending like we did uh, Friday to Sunday basically. So this was all the expenses that we had. And I do, I've mentioned this a lot of times in all my videos that I do like to put a check mark to make sure that um, this pretty much tells me that my checking account and my spreadsheet tracker does match. So this is how much we do have in our checking account. There is going to be a lot more that needs to be taken out this month. We are going to be saving a whole lot. We already did put some money into a 529 and the Roth IRA. And then I'm going to be doing a separate video and um, transferring all of this amount into our Capital One 360 savings account or checking account first and then into the savings account. So that's gonna be in my video on Friday. But for now, this has been just all about tracking our expenses and kind of show you how we check in on our budget when we do our spending or when I do um, track our spending. And then throughout the week, depending on how much we spend, if we just spend one or two items, if I want to, I'll go ahead and track it. And then I'll just go ahead and add it in here. So that's usually what I do throughout the week. Again, we don't really spend a lot throughout the week, so I'm not really too worried. It's usually on Mondays and sometimes Fridays that we I make sure that I'm in here and tracking our spending. So yeah, anyways, I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much as always for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Have a good one guys, bye.